there, everybody, and welcome to Lifestyle Today. I hope everyone had a festive and, more importantly, relaxing holiday break. Now it's on to 2022, making resolutions, trying our very best to stick to them. Eek. Today's show is all about a new year and a new you. So what better way to start than with celebrity trainer, fitness expert, and creator of Power Life, Tony Horton. He's going to help us kick off the new year right. Welcome, Tony. Justine, pleasure to be here. All right. So, Tony, tell us, how do we choose workouts, foods, and really just overall routines that are going to last us beyond just January? Well, you know, there's a lot of things out there to pick from, you, you know, and typically what I'll tell people is, you know, find something that you enjoy something you look forward to doing. You know, there's a lot of trends and fads and things like that that are out there and a lot of people gravitate to those, but they discover, you know, shortly thereafter that it's not really something they really enjoy doing. And I think a lot of things too that have to, you have to keep in mind is, you know, not being so attached to whatever aesthetic uh, aspirations that you have on a certain date down the road. I mean, you know, I train typically because I, you know, I do the types of things that I really enjoy doing. I, I don't expect to, you know, knock it out of the park every time I do something. Sometimes I'll cut my workout short. I'll do less repetitions. I'll use less weight. I'll take more days off. Um, and, and really the key to the whole, the whole equation for most people is just figuring out what you love and trying to be consistent and making sure you surround yourself with friends who want to join you. Okay. So then what would you say are your top tips for staying motivated if we don't necessarily see results immediately? Well, my three favorite are a purpose, a plan, and accountability. My purpose is I want to feel good today. If I exercise today, I release norepinephrine, dopamine, serotonin. And that's the reason why I train now at, my, at the age of 63. You know, the other thing too is a plan. You need to know what you're going to do and when you're going to do it. So if you're winging it, like, oh, you know, I'm going to work out at five or I'm going to work out in the morning. You don't really know what time and you don't allocate that. You don't make that a priority. Just like going to work or paying your bills or doing whatever you need to do, putting gas in your car. These are all priorities so that we will survive, but we want to thrive. So you've got to plan it. And accountability usually comes from the company you keep. Okay. So I want to know, do you prefer the term resolutions or goals? Oh, goals. Ah. Goals all the way. Goals all the way. And if you're going to set a goal, give yourself a time frame. You, you know, I mean, if you look at my, one of my original programs called P90X, I mean, the 90s in the title, that's 90 day process, right? right? So you're deciding on day one to do, you know, to start, and then you're going to look three months ahead and you know what the end date is. And usually about partway through your third month, you better start thinking about what the next goal is going to be. Is it going to be 60 days? Is it going to be 12 weeks? I don't know, whatever it is. And so that's really, really important to not try to think that you're going to achieve a whole lot in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks, you know, right. and really transition is a, it takes some time and, and change isn't easy. But if you give yourself these long-term goals, um, then you're not going to beat yourself up so much if you don't see results after the first couple, three weeks. Uh, Tony, this was awesome, super informative and very helpful. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.